Hey, I'm Zeus. And did you know that a big chunk of CSGO's unique, rare, and expensive items are basically lost forever? It's true, a bunch of them are permanently lost or in hiding or otherwise absent without leave, and the stories behind why can get a little bit weird. For example, you may have heard of a guy called HFB. Basically, the guy's a legendary skin collector from the United Arab Emirates with a million dollars of stuff in his inventory. The only problem though, is that he's too busy driving golden Lambos around London to bother with a show and tell. So for years, no one actually knew exactly what was in his collection. However, in late 2020, the veil was finally lifted when a site called float.db managed to load his inventory, or most of it anyway, onto their database, finally revealing the truth about one of CSGO's most mysterious collections. And it turned out we had it all wrong. HFB didn't have a million dollars of skins, yet he had two million. But HFB is far from the only mysterious collector in CSGO, and his inventory is one of only many amazing lost inventories. And in this video, we're gonna have a look at five of these. Some of them are victims of Valve anti-cheat, some of them have been privated by their owners since the dawn of CSGO, and sometimes it's both. Either way, we're gonna be diving in and having a look. Now, this video is sponsored. It's sponsored by Skin Wallet. Skin Wallet is a skins marketplace where you can sell your skins for real cash. More about them later. Otherwise, let's get on with the video. So, we're gonna start with McSkillet. Sort of. Actually, not, not really, but you'll see what I mean soon enough. So, McSkillet was a big YouTuber back in the day, although these days he's probably better known for the fairly awful nature of his premature passing. Now, because of what happened, there were a large number of not very nice things being said on his Steam profile, and his parents weren't exactly what you'd call massive fans of the feedback their son was getting, so they went and privated the profile. This is what it looks like today. Now, we're not directly interested in his profile, even though he does have an amazing lost inventory, but the reason I'm going through this is it's actually quite important backstory. You see, at the start of 2020, an account popped up titled McSkillet's Best Friend, an account that had an amazing, although trade banned inventory, and people immediately started confusing it for the real McSkillet account. I'm not joking, his comment section is basically a memorial at this point. <laughs> There are people begging for skins. Yeah, good luck with that, bro. I bet that's going to work. Now, this is all a bit awkward because this account is definitely not McSkillet and it's not even McSkillet's old. In fact, Steam Rep shows it's actually an old CSGO Reaper bot, which brings us to the real reason we're interested in this account, the inventory. This thing is currently number one on CSGO Exchange, featuring nine hows, 13 Dragon Laws and over 500 knives, not to mention a whole bunch of other restored stuff. Cisco Exchange's value of 340k is almost certainly an underestimate, but of course, that number is kind of meaningless because this account has been trade banned since early 2017. These skins here are actually completely worthless, so it's simultaneously the most expensive inventory on Cisco Exchange and worth absolutely nothing at the same time. Oh, and if you're wondering why this account is called McSkillet's Best Friend, well, my understanding is that the owner of the account, who may or may not have been the old owner of CSGO Reaper, felt kind of bad for McSkillet and felt that the public didn't really understand what happened properly and that McSkillet didn't really deserve the hate that he got. So he gave the account that name as a kind of tribute to the guy. So I guess there must be more to McSkillet's story or something. Not that I'd know anything about it. Now, there is a heated competition to own the best condition skins in CSGO. It's a bit of a war zone, and I know for a fact that a lot of the people involved hate each other, but there is only one number one skin, and it's this thing, the mighty M249 Gator Mesh with nine zeros in its wear value, four times lower than the nearest skin. But who owns it? Well, it's this guy something that would get this video demonetized toaster, who happens to run one of the best inventories of low wear skins in the world, including a 7-0 float Cobalt Quartz, a 7-0 float MAC-10 Fade, and a 7-0 float or Chameleon. But the story behind how toaster got these skins isn't a simple one, and it leads back to another insane lost inventory. Owned by a guy called Soxy. You see, up until 2017, Soxy was a major CSGO collector, and even today, he's a pretty neat inventory. There's two black pearls, two rubies, two sapphires, two emeralds, a stat track factory new how, a stat track factory new fire serpent, and a blue gem 5.7. So he definitely wasn't what you call a lightweight, but he also owned this scene. 
an M4 A1S hot rod with six zeros in its wear value. And this skin started a bit of a fight. You see, Soxy hatched the scheme to make this thing the number one best condition skin in CSGO. And to do that, he bought up everything with a low wear value and hid it on a secret private account so it wouldn't show up on databases. And that secret private account was called Toaster. But buying up every single skin with a better wear value and hiding it wasn't an easy thing to do. There was tons of competition and it would have cost a lot of money. But for a while, Soxy actually did pull it off successfully. But ultimately, it was a Pyrrhic victory. You see, by late 2016, Soxy basically just couldn't keep up anymore. There were too many low float skins and by this point, a lot of other collectors didn't really seem to like him anyway and kind of wanted to bring him down. So in 2017, he pretty much just quit, leaving two insane inventories containing some of the most unique, one-of-a-kind skins in CSGO abandoned on private accounts. 100k skins containing some truly amazing items, semi forgotten and maybe even lost forever. People say there is no justice in the world, but this is a lie. Let me introduce you to DK Monmon. DK Monmon is a serial scammer with more old accounts than children in a Catholic family, and he's also not terribly bright. Thanks to Steam Rep, we can see some of his scam attempts, and they're pretty much as pathetic as you'd expect. Okay, but first I need proof. Do you have real or trusted friend to hold earbuds before I'm going to buy keys at Steam Market? No, and I'm not going to. Why? I just need a proof. Ah uh, yes, a true criminal mastermind at work there. But not everything has quite gone DK Monmon's way. You see, he had an account called Elysian, or as it's known these days, much more fittingly, Legend. And like most of his accounts, DK Monmon got this one trade ban. Now, normally that wouldn't be a problem. He'd just make a new account and move on. But this one happened to have 275 of this newfangled sticker capsule from EMS1 Katowice in it. Oh well, no, no big deal. I mean, it's only like 70 bucks. It's just a, a dumb sticker capsule. How much could they possibly... Oh! 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 oh. Yeah, so basically those capsules are worth about a million dollars now. As I said, that is some karma. But the story doesn't end here either, because after sitting there for four years as a kind of insane monument to DK Monmon's sins, in early 2014, McSkillet came along and paid DK Monmon to let him unbox all the cases for a video, which he did, and the inventory now looks like this instead. However, the video never ended up seeing the light of day. Instead, McSillet decided to leave CSGO and invest his vast personal fortune in a Fortnite-related startup, although that never ended up being completed for obvious reasons. And in the meantime, DK Monmon decided to make the most of his banned account full of stickers. You see, supposedly the trade ban, or at least some other function related to it, is going to expire on this account in March 2024. And Given there's hundreds of thousands of dollars of discontinued stickers on the account, including 47 hollows, well, at that point, it's going to be very, very valuable, provided CSGO isn't dead at that point anyway. So he ended up selling the account to a new owner called Legend, which, you know, explains why it's called that now. Either way, there's at least half a million dollars of stickers on this account, and that value is only going up. So if it is actually unbanned one day, it might make someone very, very rich. Lost for now, but maybe not forever. Imagine buying the most expensive skin in CSGO, quitting the game and never coming back. Well, say hello to Legend of Blue. You might recognize him from a recent video of mine. He's the guy who bought the factory new 387 pattern Crambit case hardened for $120,000 back in 2016 and was like, nah, you know what, I'm over CSGO, see you guys, and we haven't really seen him since. And this skin isn't the only insane thing lost in his inventory. He also owns a scar pattern with four Titan Hollows, a souvenir Dragon Lore, a stat track factory new Howl, a factory new Crimson Web Crambit, a Blue Gem 57, plus a whole bunch of other things we don't know about. And uh, honorable mention, he also has this M4A1S Night Souvenir with two Titan Hollows on it. That is some sick stuff. Now, you might be wondering what sort of person just abandoned CSGO with over half a million dollars of skins in their inventory. And based on his profile, you might be thinking it's some Chinese guy. But here's the thing, he's not. 
That's right, sorry Chairman G, but he's actually one of ours. In fact, this guy is actually a semi-famous CSGO better who used to be known as Noob Rage. And this guy was a big deal. He had a YouTube channel, he had a Twitter, he had a Steam group, he was super well known in the community, and apparently, he wasn't bad at betting either. You can find a list of his wins on his profile to this very day. But for some reason, in late 2016, he just kind of up and left. Like his Twitter is basically deleted. His YouTube channel leads to this. Now, <laughs> I don't know what's going on there. Uh, pretty much no one knows where he went. The only clue I found is that he still occasionally plays the game. There's shadow web stickers on this blue gem 57. So maybe one day he will come back. But for the time being, his inventory, which contains the most expensive skin in all of CSGO, looks like it could be lost forever. So for our final inventory, we're gonna look at a name you probably haven't heard for a while, Stack. So who is Stack? Well, in some respects, he is a bit like HFB. He's a Qatari prince with a jaw-dropping inventory. Five stat track rubies, six stat track sapphires, seven stat track factory new crimson webs, a whole bunch of catacrafts, a nuts collection of other stat track factory new knives, a nuts collection of stat track factory new souvenirs, and not content with just this, Stack also managed to get himself international news coverage by spending $250,000 to get the highest steam level in history. So high, Valve actually had to make a whole bunch of new badges specifically for his account. Unlike HFB though, Stack was a fairly public character. He's got an Instagram, he's got a charity side project, he's also got a giveaway group. And as a thanks for all his giveaways, his account has been flooded for five years now with comments from absolute gremlins in the community pathetically begging for skins. But this is all past tense now, because about a year ago, Stack moved all his skins over to another account called Gangster Bob, and he hasn't been active in CSGO ever since. So what's happened here? A titan of CSGO quietly left and very few people seem to have noticed. Well, firstly, I get the impression that Gangster Bob is probably just borrowing these skins. He's also from Qatar and probably personal friends with Stack. And in fact, it gets even crazier because Gangster Bob isn't even playing CSGO anymore. He's a hardcore Valorant guy, number one in Qatar apparently. So why is he the one holding onto Stack's inventory? It's not like it's much use for him at the moment. As it happens though, I think the inventory shift may have actually been more of a precaution than anything else. You see, Stack has a lot of impersonators who go around trying to scam people, and he may have been worried that Steam might accidentally ban him, so moving the skins over to a friend's account may just have been to keep them safe while he wasn't around. And I can't say I think it's a bad move, but with Stack having moved on and Gangster Bob up to his neck in Valorant, the inventory is still kind of lost anyway. Although when you're as wealthy as Stack is, I doubt that million dollars of skins really matters to you that much in the first place. Anyway, that's pretty much it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please like, comment, and subscribe. Massively appreciated. And a big thank you to Skin Wallet for sponsoring this channel. Skin Wallet is a skins marketplace where you can sell your skins for real cash. It's quick easy and safe to use with no hidden fees. You can log in through Steam and start selling your skins. If you're looking to buy, there are a ton of skins on sale for huge discounts and you can buy it straight from Visa and MasterCard with no extra hidden fees and save a lot of money on your skins buying this way. If you need money even more quickly, Skimwallet offers the best instant sell prices for mid-tier skins of any website, allowing you to get paid out within minutes. Skin Wallet also has 24 seven customer service for whenever you have a problem. Link is in the pinned comment. I recommend checking them out. Otherwise, trust the numbers, not your guts. I'm Jesus, thanks for watching. See ya.